Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So folks, we're continuing. This is going to be part three of our layout build series that uh, um, that we've kind of started out with. And uh, I, I know I'm kind of doing my own kind of display and I, I and I but here's the thing I hope that you're getting the knowledge from using the layout tab and learning some of the functionalities because a lot of it is very universal that will be specific to your build so with that in mind today we're going to do the candy cane model um, so I, I, I don't think that many people either use or have tried using the candy cane model and what we want to attempt to do today is show some of the functionalities of the candy cane so that you can see exactly how they're put together. And if it's something you're considering building on your own, um, I am very aware that there is a, a candy cane model that's available through James at Boscoyo and other vendors uh, have, have them as well. But they're already in the download section. I do use some of those, um, and I'm actually kind of expanding on a couple of them this year. But... I also use my own homemade candy canes, and that's what I'm going to walk you through today. But before that, this video is brought to you by the PPD Sequence Club. Go ahead and join the Sequence Club, and with your monthly membership, you get one free sequence with your membership payment each month. You also get four awesome preset effects that work great on your mega tree. They'll work perfect on your on your matrices, as well as they will be even more dazzling when you add the kaleidoscope and warp effects to them as well. Also, with your membership, you get access to the PPD uh, vendors' monthly specials. The vendors who uh, support us in the PPD club and the members uh, are Boscoya Studios, uh, Wired Watts, Crockett Fantasy Lights, Pixel Sequencing, Scott LED. Uh, we also have um, Claudia, Claudia Christmas Light Controller Builds uh, and Jadiations, as well as a number of other awesome people who support the community through the PPD Sequence Club. So join now, get some awesome benefits. So let's get into the lesson for today, which is basically the candy cane model. So I haven't said this yet in this series, but I'm going to do it right now. When you click one time on any one of the predetermined uh, models that are in X lights, you you basically are creating that grayed out mark with the blue line around it. That allows us to create one specific model, just one. Okay. If we click and drag, now we have the selection tool there. Okay. But if we click twice, one, two, see how it's grayed out and it has that blue box over it now, and now the blue box is gone whenever I hover away. We can click and drag and click and drag and click and drag and click and, okay, you get the point. Okay, so this is helpful, why? Well, because if you're making multiple versions of it, this this kind of is uh, helpful, but if you're making them all identical sizes, I typically would recommend for people to uh, use the copy and paste method. Uh, no worries if you did it this way. Uh, no harm, no foul, but it's just the functionality that's in X-Lite. So that's the second click on any of the models. When you click a third time, it re relinquishes it back to the click and drag that's available. Whoopsie, I thought that was locked. Let's go ahead and lock that. Right click and lock lock that in place. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. Um, so, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and here's another functionality. This is brand new in one of, uh, thanks to Scott, I believe it was Scott, who added this functionality and this is in the most recent version, 2019.16. I haven't tested it, so I'm going to do it here live on video. I think Scott added a pressing delete key in layout model list now deletes a model so this is something interesting so we're going to test it so we have it highlighted here i'm going to select it and i'm going to see if hitting the delete key bam makes it go away that is awesome because before you could only select in the uh preview screen that you could hit the delete button so you can do it now uh from the main uh model panel and just click the delete button and they all go away. That's so awesome. Thank you, Scott, that was phenomenal. So let's go ahead and move along with uh, the candy cane. So I have, personally, I have little itty bitty candy canes that I made from uh, mini wireframes that I purchased at a big box store and I converted them. They were AC lights and I put pixels in them and they have 10 pixels in them. Now the candy cane model you see here, it says nodes per cane, you have 18 now mine don't have that many so I can obviously go in here and custom 
customize it to how I have it, which would make that then 10, because that's how many, mine are little itty bitty mini ones. And um, we we can click and drag and we can make them little little tiny pathway lights. Unfortunately, they don't scale wide well, so you really can't stretch them out. Like I have 10 of these. So this says we have three. I'm gonna go ahead and place three. Uh, I'm gonna place 10 down, because I run 10 on the left side of my uh, display. We'll make it a little bigger. So these would be on the ground. And then my candy canes on the left, they the hook faces the other way. So we can actually come down here and we can reverse. So let's go ahead and do that, reverse. Let's click the checkbox. And now, now the hooks are going to the left here. So now we see the functionality of having the candy canes that you can change the preview. But now how are the candy canes actually set up? So if we right click on the model, we can go to node layout and we can actually see that as per the buffer, it looks like it's a matrix. It's a square. You have nodes at the top, nodes at the bottom. You don't see the custom model where it actually has kind of the hook or the cane look to it. You just see a custom model. So if you put the bars effect on here, the buffer is going to read this preview, this node layout, and it's going to start the bars. If you have it going in the up direction, it's going to start the bars at the bottom and move them up, which means that on the actual model, it will move it from the bottom here all the way up, and then it'll appear to go around but it's actually not going around, it's going straight up because that's how the model is seen in x -Lite. So this is a wonderful addition if you have some of these kind of little candy canes that you homemade uh, and you put up yourself. It's very easy, there's actually, uh, there's actually a number of uh, candy canes that you can 3D print. If you have a 3D printer, like I, I did get one last year in 2018, and I love it. And I, I play with it just, just for the Christmas show, and I really don't know much about it other than the fact that it actually prints what I tell it to, and people share their awesome ideas and so forth, and they share their files, and I'm able to use them as well, so I'm grateful for that. So what I wanted to show next is obviously you have the copy and paste function because guess what? I have control C and now I'm going to slightly offset this control V and I'm gonna grab this side of it here and I'm gonna pull it over here so we can see we have candy cane set one, candy cane set two. I have some on my right side. I'm gonna go ahead and flip those around in reverse. So that's basically the easy way to add homemade candy canes directly into my layout one at a time the sequencing, just like I said, remember it looks like a matrix to X lights, but in reality it has this little hook at the top and you can have them all together. Like for me, it's for me, they, they literally, if I, if I, if I zoom in on them, I start here, I start at the, uh, I, I start at the bottom and I go up over the hook. And then the, the last one here is at the top, and then I run a line back down and over to the next one. And it connects in here to the first pixel, and it does that the whole way through. So basically, that's how I have my layout set up. Um, maybe yours is a little different. Uh, there are a couple of options here. You can, uh, you can rotate the cane. We can do, let's do 50. Let's just, just see what it does. You can see that they kind of lean. If, if your house is on a corner, you can lean them. So kind of make them taller and you know that's really really neat model there right and and if you screw it up you can always hit control z and control z again bam we're back to where we started with control z undoes your last move in the layout tab as well so there is another secret in this video for you guys if you uh, i'm i'm, I'm going to kind of cut it off there i think we're going to move on to another uh model or another uh function and we'll do that next in the next video but Guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Make sure you click the subscribe button and also the notification to be notified when the next video comes out from PPD. You will be notified via YouTube. You'll get it to you, push to your uh, wireless device or your your uh, your your um, your your pads or, or whatever you're using and so forth. If you haven't done yet, so please uh, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Comment on the video down below in the comment section. Uh, a lot of people who do put comments down, what I love to do is I like to take your ideas and they actually turn into other videos that kind of help other people. So your comments are always welcome. Please, if you love what we're doing here at Pixel Pro Displays, please consider supporting us by joining the membership. That is the easiest way to, to show that you support what we're doing for the community, which is trying to 
expand the knowledge and teach people how the XLA software works as the community continues to progress through all the amazing things that are going on. So thank you so much for joining us. This is Clyde Lindsay at Pixel Pro Displays signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>